Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. This video is a look at some of the updates to goods receipt and returns functions that were introduced in the 2019.1 release of MYOB Advanced. We focused on making Advanced easier to use and navigate, no matter what your role is. To simplify the processing of purchases, the 2019.1 release removes extraneous financial information like credit terms, taxes and discounts from the purchase receipt screen. As purchase receipts are about the movement of goods, the financial information isn't needed, so removing this information simplifies the process and makes the interface cleaner and easier to use. New tabs displaying purchase orders, purchase returns and accounts payable documents related to the receipt have been added, so that you can browse to those documents if you need to see financial details relating to the purchase. A new tab has also been added to the Purchase Orders screen. Like the new tabs on the Purchase Receipts screen, the PO History tab lists all Purchase Orders, Purchase Returns and Accounts Payable documents related to the Purchase Order, so you can more easily review all the documents relating to any Purchase Order. This release also improves the Purchase Return process. Purchase Returns can now be linked to Purchase Receipts directly. When you're processing a return document on the Purchase Receipts screen, New Add PR and Add PR Line buttons are available to add an existing purchase receipt or selected lines from an existing receipt to the return document. You can also create a return document directly from a receipt by ticking the lines you want to return and clicking the Return button on the main toolbar. New options relating to returns are available on the Purchase Order Preferences screen. New Vendor Return options are available for Purchase Order Return Reason Codes. The default is specified here, but you can set them on a line-by-line -line basis when entering a return. This new Return by Original Receipt Cost option determines whether returned items that are linked to a receipt should use the cost from the original receipt or the cost as determined by the item's valuation method. This release also includes changes to the handling of returns that include non-stock items. These are added to the inventory transaction generated when a return is released, and from there, transactions are posted to the relevant accounts. As part of the simplification of the goods receipt process, landed cost processing has been separated into a new landed cost screen, instead of being an extension of AP bills or purchase receipts. When you create a landed cost document using this new screen, you have the option of adding in a receipt or individual lines from a receipt before entering cost codes and amounts. You can also link a line of an AP bill to a landed cost line from the Bills and Adjustments screen using the Link Line button. Finally, new landed cost options are available on the Purchase Order Preferences screen, allowing you to customise the landed cost process to suit your needs. And that concludes our look at the changes to purchase receipting and returns in MYOB Advance 2019.1. For more information on all of the changes in this release, See the 2019.1 release notes document on the MYOB Advanced Education Centre website. Thanks for watching.